Thank you all for joining. Welcome to Paper and Moose. Today's video, I have some treasure, mail treasure, sent to me from Rick in Kentucky. I have some two unopened letters, and then I just wanted to, let's say like a general, general service announcement, PSA, public service announcement, general service. It's been a long day. Anyway, um, I just wanted to thank, again, everyone that has sent in mail. I cannot tell you how much it is appreciated and how much it really, um, you know, humbles me that all of you out there would share in your collections and your, your finds and things that you have found throughout the years that you've kept and you want to pass them along. I also want to thank all of you that just watch the channel, that have subscribed, that leave great comments. You know, there are many of you, a lot of you that are frequent commenters. I try and return comments as much as I can. I do get a little backed up every now and then with the comments, but you know, I try to thank all of you that are new to the channel, um, those that have great input, suggestions. I always try and comment back. Um, when I first started this channel, well, prior, I guess, to starting the channel on YouTube, I would watch YouTube mostly for music videos, <laughs> see old shows that aren't on television anymore, and then, you know, I would watch the occasional garbage picker, flea market, flipper person. When I started with my own channel and filming and reading the comments and having, you know, people provide their input, I realized that, you know, YouTube is not just about learning how to, you know, use a certain kind of tool or watching a certain music video, that there are, there is a large majority of people that use YouTube for pretty much everyday living, um, you know, for the interaction, you know, maybe they're homebound and they can't get out. So the people that they go and chats with, that they comment with, that's, you know, those are their friends for people that they can't get out of their home anymore to travel, whether it's, you know, physical aspect of the body, you know, mentally they're great, but their legs might not just want to move. And so they're homebound or financially they can't afford to pack up a bag, hop on a plane and travel wherever they want to, or they just have different situations that they are in where they might have to take care of a loved one, or, you know, they just have other obligations that forces them to stay at home. So they go to YouTube and they're able to do things that they normally would not do. So I'm glad that I can be a part of those that, you know, have always wanted to travel to such places as Wyoming because everyone wants to go there or even people that are overseas and that they know that they will never be able to come to the United States just to give them an idea of what some of the, you know, the different things are that we have here. So I'm grateful that I'm able to do that. And I'm also grateful for all of you that take the time out of your day to go on YouTube, find my channel and watch. So thank you again. You know, you've really opened up my eyes as to all different types of, you know, YouTube communities out there. And I appreciate that. Other things I appreciate, mail. <laughs> again, apologies if I get to it really late. I'm sorry. Blame it on my regular Monday to Friday job, which I would love it if I could eventually, I don't say if, I'm gonna say when, when I can eventually make, making videos, doing research, my full-time job, um, I promise I will be more on top of my mail. But until then, bear with me. So this is from Elle in Phoenix, Arizona. Lynn. Oh, I already see what it is. Hello, Renee. I have enjoyed your Yellowstone adventure videos very much. They brought back the memories of our family vacation in July of 1963 when my brave parents hooked up a trailer to a station wagon and drove us from Arizona to Wyoming. My three sisters and I, ages 11, 10, 7, and 3, earned a silver dollar for every day we were good. Yellowstone was exciting and I remember the trip quite well. Somehow the enclosed postcard I sent to my grandmother has lasted these many years, so I thought you might add it to your collection. Thank you for the entertaining videos. Best regards, Lynn. Lynn, thank you so much. This is a great card. Oh. <laughs> Dear Grandma, we saw Old Faithful Geyser twice. Everyone is fine. We've seen over 20 bears 
And six elk. Hope you are okay. Love, Lynn. And it's stamped, it's postmarked with the Yellowstone National Park postmark. Look at that. Thank you so much for sharing this, Lynn. I really appreciate that. I hope you made a copy of it for yourself. Man, 20 bears. Now, were you exaggerating <laughs> as a little kid? This is great. Thank you so much. Now I want to go back again. Um, when I was there, I did send my little cousin some postcards. I, I made sure to do that. So I think she got a kick out of them. So thank you. I really appreciate this. And I'm, I loved your story. And I hope maybe one day you'll get to go back to Yellowstone. But if not, then enjoy my videos that I've made. Thank you. This is from Tara in California. see a card oh my goodness <gasps> it's a moose <laughs> oh that is great look at this oh my gosh <laughs> I love it a moose tea towel I mean he's being hunted but hey, that is great. And I think this is the same. Yep, it's the same pattern. Thank you so much, Tara. Make sure I got, see my memory. These are amazing. Let's see, 100% pure linen made in Poland. Thank you, Poland, for making these. I'm going to put one on my um, stove. I have the one that another uh, viewer sent probably a month or two ago, so I will switch it out. A moose, see, moose. I have my moose right there, and we have another moose here. These are great, Tara, thank you so much. I've never seen moose tea towels, linen towels, and now I have. So thank you. These are awesome. How do you all find these things? I never know. You find great things at thrift stores. Your postcards from Yellowstone that you sent when you were little. Thank you. Speaking of great things, as I mentioned, one of the viewers and a commenter, a frequent commenter, Rick in Kentucky, he has been sending such great packages and you know he's let me know that I don't have to open up everyone on on an episode. I like to do that because I like to show that you know that I'm appreciative of everything that's sent, and I think a lot of people like the surprise of wondering what's in there. Um, but because Rick has sent so much, he said you know to go through it and to show what I wanted, and I figured that most of you would want to see what he has sent because it is great stuff. So for those that follow me on Instagram, it's just paper and moose on Instagram. So if you have Instagram, go check it out. I posted a picture of one of the pictures that he had sent me of a trolley with the conductors. And this was another one that he had sent. Look at them. They are so dapper. Look at their, let me see if I can get close. Their faces, their clothes. Just a great photo. The one that he had sent me, I think it was from Ohio. I might be wrong. I'd have to go back and check my Instagram. So this might be from the same area. I'm not sure. Um, the only sign here says no admittance. I can't really see anything on their hat, but I will most likely take a picture of this and post it on my Instagram. Zoom in a little bit on their faces because these gentlemen have great faces that need to be shared with the Instagram world, but you can't be a photo like this. He also sent some school books. Uh, these are eclectic readers. So we have a couple of them. What's neat about them, I mean, besides they have that great old look to them, is they have 
really nice illustrations inside. I should have saved some. I know when I opened it up, I was like, oh, that's nice. But there's poems. Look here. Ralph Wick was seven years old. and most things, he was a fine boy, but he was too apt to cry. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I know how I feel, Ralph. But look at the lovely... You know, the, the writing. I don't believe they write like that anymore. I don't think they teach cursive in schools anymore, unfortunately. What I thought was really neat when I <laughs> looked at these is that the person that owned this is Elizabeth Borden. And then this one, oh, I know the one says Lizzie Borden. And I was like, wait, yeah, Lizzie Borden. Oh, you might not be able to see that. But it's not the Lizzie Borden who took an ax. It's a different Lizzie Borden. Because <laughs> if that was the case, Rick would want these back. Look at that great the lion. Menagerie. Love that word. Giraffes. I mean, there's all sorts of great stuff. He also sent a poetry book, which I'm going to save a poem for last because I opened it up and it landed on that this particular poem, and I thought it was very fitting. Um, two other items I wanted to share with you, and Rick said that he thought that I would love them, and he was totally right, were catalogs. This is a sporting goods catalog, and then he also sent this one, Sheldon Furniture Laboratory Home Arts Educational Industrial and Shop Catalog. He sent me a few more catalogs, which I will probably take pictures of the items in there and again put on Instagram. But I don't know what it is. I just love these old catalogs. It's of a time gone by. You know, things aren't made like they used to. It's just totally different. Here we have timers, slickers, hockey guards. I would, I want all these. Look at these, the bathing suits and the jerseys. Sorry, I'm telling you, look at them. I'm not even showing you. So look, oh my goodness. I'll figure this out one time. But the shorts. This is from the James Bailey Company in Maine. So then you have pants, fraternity coats. I shake my head because I'm just in love with all of it. They have polish, food jars, lunch kits. Here you have all your different kind of stoves for camping. Oh, and there's a picture. This would be interesting to look up this building and see if it's still like that. Football helmets. Oh my goodness. I can go on and on. Oh, look at these shoes. The basketball shoes. I want them. Then the other book. Because I could just show you every page of that, honestly. This is furniture book. Of course, I want everything in here. <laughs> you have sinks. Let me see if I can get closer without falling off my chair. So these are for a physics group. I mean, do you remember in high school when you had these great tables? Biology tables. Let me find. Chairs. Oof. I want these. The notebook lockers. Can you see? Ugh, this camera angle is not good today. You have wall lockers. Case combinations. Oh my goodness. To have lived back then. Art tables, drafting tables, a high school drawing room. Look how nice those are. So can you imagine, you know, working at a high school? And you're like, oh, I want to order you know, some furniture for my classroom. 
and they hand you this lovely made book and say, here, what would you like? Oh my gosh. Look at this instructor's lecture table. Look how long that is. I want that in my life. I need a bigger place to live though. These are amazing. So you can definitely be sure that you will see more of these um, images on my Instagram page. And then who knows, I might even want to do a YouTube video just of those items. Granted, you know, I might only get a thousand views, but I think it's interesting and I like to share that with people. Oh, the poem. How could I forget that? So thank you, Rick. Thank you, Tara. And thank you, Lynn, for everything. Rick, I will continue to show more of the items that you send. Again, I'm most appreciative. I think I've told you that many times, but I cannot say it enough. So I'm going to end with a poem. <laughs> this is, look how beautiful that is. The gold leaf on the side. The Poetical Works of Owen Meredith, Robert Lord Lytton. Lucille, The Apple of Life, The Wanderer, Clemenstra, that didn't sound right, um, the Household Edition. So when I opened it up, I opened it up to page 223. And the first thing I read, I thought, oh, that's appropriate. And then I turned the page and there were some more. So this has a lot of those TH words in it. So bear with me, but I think that it is um, appropriate for the channel and for all things old and vintage and everything that we love. I'll try to read it as best as I can. <laughs> what is gone is gone forever and new fashions may replace old forms which nothing can restore. But I turn from sighing back departed passions with that pining at the bosom as of yore. I remember to have murmured morn and even Though the earth dispart these earthlies face from face, yet the heavenly shall surely join in heaven, for the spirit hath no bonds in time or space. Where it listeth, there it bloweth, all existence is its region, and it houseth where it will. I shall fear, feel her through a measurable distance, and grow nearer and be gathered to her still. But... My being is confused with new experience and changed to something other than it was. And the future with the past is set at variance and life falters with the burdens which it has. Earth's old sins press fast behind me, weakly wailing. Faint before me fleets the good I have not done. And my search for her may still be unavailing mid the spirits that are past beyond the sun. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope that you continue to enjoy the channel and that you find other channels that, you know, add to your life and that, you know, bring you happiness if you can't get out there and see these things for yourself. Um, you know, I think that's the, the good of YouTube. So thank you again for joining me. I hope you have a great week, great day, evening, morning, whatever it may be for you. And thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye.